So on finding yourself and losing yourself and finding yourself and into the cycle and then <laughs> the serpent eating its own tail and the process of going into the self and the mind and the body in spirit and however you want to look at it and so today's piece that goes along with the disappearing self story poem piece that i wrote on the blog and before we do that we're going to pivot and we're going to come over here and just knock this down yeah before we sit here and you know what let's actually let's actually you see me i don't know if you can see me i pivoted around well, upside down weird we'll see how that that may be upside down i'm sorry if it is and let's take a little walk around the garden because i'm feeling like that's a good thing to do today and it's cool to look at the garden and to see what's going on because i really feel like my being out in nature and gardening has inspired so much of who I am and who I'm becoming and teaches me more and more and more about myself and just about life and the process of Becoming and and becoming and and patience and even the difference in timing of different blooms. These are not quite ready yet, and even just within the same tree, like these macadamia trees that are planted all at the same time. And we have these that are huge, these that are just taken off, and then we have these next door that are just barely, barely beginning, and then haven't come through the soil yet. That all started at the same time. And I just think that that is really something to reflect on that is my inspiration I feel like in so much of what I do and so here we are on that bench where we started and in the disappearing self we have essentially the self the identity who we are and who we're not, which is kind of two pieces of the whole, but we have the self, like I've been stepping into, like how can I become more and more and more of this person I'm becoming in each piece that I create here. And that's really been my like intention, my consistency, I guess is I'm going to create every few days and it's less to the point what I'm creating more so the fact that I'm creating and and then I came to this thought came to this then this thought came that it's like what if this is all practice for what's actually coming and I have a lot of ideas about the direction I want to go with my brand, my life, and I'm not sure exactly which ones are going to happen and which ones are just going to be like thoughts kind of, you know, flowing through the river of my life. <laughs> and it's beautiful in that way because all of the things that have happened now, like, no one ever could have told me that I was going to be a full-time content creator and blog, video, writer, 
martial artist, yogi, kundalini person, whatever I am. And that is, it's, it's something else. Like it's not something that I could have ever achieved by just saying like, oh, I'm going to go to school. I'm going to be a teacher. I'm going to follow this path. Cool. This is what I'm doing for the rest of my life. And it's something that can only be achieved. The achieving something that you're like, man, I never thought I was going to end up here by allowing that opportunity to be present in your life. And I've been embodying more and more of that, like committing to a process and a practice and um, like the consistency piece, but also having the openness to be like, I'm going to go with the flow, with opportunities that come up, and I'm not going to bind myself to any one outcome, and that is where my path truly gets to be its own journey and my own way, because I don't know where I'm stepping into. I don't know where I'm going to end this video today. Like, I don't know really anything other than that I'm sitting here right now and that I wrote this post for Thursday and that my plan is to continue doing this and stepping more and more into this whatever I'm stepping into and that loud sound that's coming through there that I hope you can hear over and it's a beautiful thing because it means that It means that anything can come up and in some ways that's frightening, like it can be it's like, okay, well, what if I don't know what to expect? But that's also where the most, like most amazing things can happen as well. And that's where it's important to like, be able to hold the both, putting my hands, I don't have my hands, I'm holding this thing. Speaking of holding, that's where it's so important to be able to hold like both ends, the, <laughs> the possibility for amazing things and also the not knowing because you can't do both. You can't have one without the other. You have to have both. And I think that on this <laughs> disappearing self that I really stepped into this today because I was having a hard time identifying myself and like I want to have again like that structure piece like I have now like Monday to Thursday cool creation time and then I also want to have that like that structure piece of who am I but also that space to evolve and grow and experience these uh, you know, opportunities that present themselves. And, and it's difficult because I'm like, okay, well, how much then can I label myself? And not just to create that space, but also like what feels good in my body to say, to label, to create. And that is very, very, very simple but also broad like the martial artist term it's simple because it's like okay martial artist um when i say that like you probably have something in your head of what that is but it's very broad because it encompasses so many different arts and practices there's karate there's taekwondo there's all kinds of other martial arts and mixed martial arts and practices and also the element of just being part of life, of nature, of, you know, that, that mindset piece that is pretty, like, unison, I think, across the board. Um, but again, each practice is more, like, more on the masculine side or more on the feminine side or more of, you know, whatever they practice. Like, it's all got pieces of everything else in it if you look hard enough. And... Also the piece of language, the okay, multilingual feels good. 
polyglot does not feel good. Just it just doesn't feel fitting. And so okay, said so we'll and I'm talking about my blog, a little piece on the side today that I updated. If you read the blog, you'll see that. And so it's like this process of okay, well that's kind of clear because it has a language piece it says okay multilingual that's fitting it's like specific enough to say to someone that this is something that you can identify with that you can see you can understand and you can say okay like i know a little bit about who you are and what you do but it's broad enough that it doesn't narrow it down so much that i'm like pigeonholing myself into something and that gives me the room to play with it so that is kind of what I was going for with that. And the yogi piece is, I thought, hmm, am I actually yogi? Can I actually call myself a yogi? And then I thought, and then I looked up, well, what's the definition actually for a yogi? A person who practices yoga. I took my first yoga class when I was 15 and I really, really, really connected with it. Get you guys some better lighting, maybe. And it's not something that I continue doing because of outside influences, I guess, that I shouldn't do it, that I, yeah, that I shouldn't do it, like that it was a waste of time, or that I, I don't know, or I just didn't do it for whatever reason, like insecurities, I didn't do it, and, and it's something like I've gone back and forth to over the last, like, well, I guess the last half of my life, because I was 15. And, um, and then I have like gone back and forth and back and forth and I'm doing it again. And thought, okay, and it feels really good. And it's also like I want it to be part of my martial arts practice and part of my language practice to have everything kind of intertwined. And, but also to have like distinct practices within, within each one, that integration, but also that. Um, individual focus which I think is important too and also the reason why integration works so well is because each piece is also distinguished and so I thought okay yeah this feels good this is something that I do this is something that I want to do more of and that feels like good in my body which is the biggest piece and that's like for each person is what I feel like is like what feels really good in your body that doesn't send you into like anxiety or it doesn't you know just doesn't stress you out and just feels like a calmness and I think really like that's the purpose of it all you know is to find a place where we can move through life with like a sense of calm urgency <laughs> there's that that, <laughs> that paradox and life is the the paradoxes of life that make life life right and i think that that is the goal because when we find that energy that spot then what we do becomes less important than how we do it and how much we stick to that feeling and that feeling I feel like is essentially ourselves. So our self is less of a an identity of mm, an identity that can be put into words and more of a feeling within ourselves like an artist has like an expression and I think that makes it very difficult for people to be like, well, what is myself? What is, it's like, I like this thing and now I don't like this thing because I grew out of it because I, you know, I changed to this, I changed to this. But the self is bigger than that. It's how you think, it's how you move, it's how you process life, it's how you feel. That is yourself and that changes a bit too. But if you look hard enough, there's pieces of your personality that really stick around that are like really ingrained and you can shift around like interests and even um parts of your personality in the sense of like overcoming fears about like speaking and overcoming like 
you know, just like pieces of your identity that you, that don't necessarily relate to you in the sense of like something that you've taken on from someone else you know as a child as a child you maybe you were told like oh you're so quiet or oh you do this well or you don't do this and then you like took that on as an identity you can shed those layers of your identity but underneath it's like you're still you it's just that there's layers and there's barriers and then when you get to that feeling of expression you'll find that that by yourself that's something that you can always come back to that feeling and it's also one of those things that I don't think I'm going to go into anymore right now because it, there just aren't words for it you have to feel it and I think I'll leave you guys with that and yeah we'll wrap up this video make sure to check out the blog post as well and I will see you guys back here next time monday thursday new blog new video that's it bye guys